Okay, now this video, I'm going to show you, uh, if we go down to the bottom and where the sign up is, members login, I'm going to show you the administrator section. So this is only what administrator sees. So what we can do is we can assign anyone a, an administrator. Um, so or the, the person, I guess, in charge of the website uh, could either be me or someone within the, um, the business there can designate someone to assign people these privileges and this is obviously an administrative privilege and you can assign it to one person, two people or three people uh, and I've created a demo so I'll just show you what a demo would look like now assuming I, this is an administrator so I've created a demo, if you go demo uh, admin is the username and also demo admin is the password and this is, yeah, so I'll just log in um, again, it goes into the, um, obviously this is website's not live, so, but when it does it will go to the front page, but we just go back and I'll just click on any page and it should refresh with, there you go, with the details. Now there's a few extra things, we've got view minutes and renew membership. So these people obviously have privileges to upload minutes and to um, view the minutes in the, in the, in the history. Um, another thing I'll tell you about, if you click on any page, we'll say about us, you notice that these buttons here, there's one at the end, it's called edit. So as an administrator, only administrators can see this, you'll see a little edit. So when you click on that edit button, you'll be able to edit that page. So if I just scroll down, and it comes up with a really nice little interface, so you can um, obviously don't go you know, changing it to you know, make it bright colors, etc. But you get the idea, you can edit this like Word, like Microsoft Word. So you can edit any page if you want to change, you know, some content, if there's, if there's some changes to be made, you can quite easily do that. Um, uh, also images as well, you can upload your own image. To do that, there's that little button there, insert edit image. This is probably getting a little bit advanced, but I'll, I'll show you while I'm here. And that little button there, upload. Now, obviously, you have to crop that image that same size, and then browse. And I'll just find an image on my computer. Okay, I found an image on my computer. It's there and you just hit on uh, upload and then it uploads it then close and you can see there, if you just have to click on it one more time just there you go, it's updated it there um, and then you just simply hit update and it'll update that image um, I won't do that now but um, I guess that gives you an idea of how to do that and once you've done that also down the bottom here just try not to change this here um, this is basically the category, like for example, the um, the articles at the top, they live in a, it's kind of like folders, a section and a folder, like little buckets. They live in um, pages and blog. So if I save that, that'll actually go into the um, articles. But leave that as is, so leave that, just don't touch that. Um, this one here is published, so if you want to unpublish a page, you can unpublish it or an article. Um, don't need to worry about that. Author alias, if there's a specific author for the article, you can change it there. Um, and this one here is to be viewable by the public or registered users. Um, a lot of this information here, honestly, you wouldn't need to use, but I'm just giving a quick overview. And once you've done that, you simply hit save and it updates it on the website. So I won't save it, I'll just simply click out and click on another page. And here you can, you can actually um, submit minutes to the meeting. So you can submit the minutes, blah, blah, blah and whatever and save and then once they're approved and I'll show you how to do that in another video 
you can actually go to view all minutes and that would have the minutes of all the minutes of the, um, the meetings so that's an administrator um, also I'll show you the administrator in the back end of Joomla so hopefully this is not too confusing but this is just simply a person who's assigned an administrator I'm just showing you some features of how they can edit the content on the website from the front of the website and also how they have access to the minutes so I'll show you in another video the administrator to the back end of Joomla which you actually get get, get more features than um, than the front end user so hopefully that's been helpful